Hey, what's up? Maddie 29 Hey guys, MattyB29 here, and welcome to another episode of Skyward Sword. So last time, uh, I, we just finished the race, I think. Yeah, yeah, last time we finished the race, and we won, because we're awesome. What if we do for you, MattyB29? What about a project? You found that dumb bird of yours. Yeah. Well, it's just great because you, of you, your dumb bird can't just can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start and delay it for you. I don't get it. The big flake gets special. No, no, wait. We're doing the race now. You're almost a man and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about he's, how he's going to be the one with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and a ruffle about her. her. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. This guy's a jerk. Oh yeah, that sailcloth. Zelda's sailcloth will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue, just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Groose, pss, Groose, behind you. Right behind you. What? You can't do, you can't do, see I'm in the middle of... Ugh. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing big really, just, just... Meh, well, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later Zelda, look, look for me during the race, I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Um. Hey, Groose, wait up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are about just less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Matt. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got those guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. Us? Alone? Come on, Matt, try to focus for once. The wedding ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Matt. <clears throat> yeah, 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 I don't care. I, I'm gonna win. It's, it's me, I'm gonna win. Not them, because they're stupid. Do, 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 do. Your attention, please. At least we are ready to begin the at last. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Matt, but lucky this is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my single signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount to your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with, with down to, once you dive off the ledge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? No, I'm good. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. 
he will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's sutral. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it also, but it is, but, but it is, all, oh my gosh, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift at high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by the lovely Zelda. Let's see your finest flying. Oh, let's see your, oh, I thought it was Groose talking. Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see how, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other writers will answer to me. That go double for you, Groose. All right, gentlemen, line up at my command. The competition will begin. I'm gonna win. Go! I win. Well. All right, so basically it's, it's just the same thing. Wait, what the heck? I was ahead of everyone. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get close to the bird and then they're gonna screw me over. Uh, 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 uh. Uh-oh. Let me fly up and get speed. Don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Jerk. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with an egg on your face. These guys are jerks. You know, they were just told not that. Oh, I don't think they care. Oop, hold on. What the heck, man? Screw you. Got it. You got the bird statuette! It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Yeah, no, they kind of suck at flying. I win! Matt! Uh-oh. Oh, my bird must... Ugh. Oh. Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, Matt. Congratulations. Why, thank you. Now we'd better get on with the ceremony. Hi, you guys suck at flying. Who's, are those our birds? Matt, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Got it. Oh. Voice acting. Right? Hopefully. Please? No? Oh man. I was looking forward to it. Great goddess, guiding light, and protector of our people, grant us your mer blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessing and the blessings of the goddess upon you. I can't talk today. The blessings of goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. Right, it says something like, it smells nice. You got the sailcloth! 
Now you can jump from any height without the fear of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. Matt, stop goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, you're the one The one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I think the next few episodes are going to be dialogue heavy. So just bear with me here. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Matt. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Got it. Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Matt. Of course. Now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh oh. And just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Matt. Uh, nothing. You have to jump off the statue. Look down. See that big round design on your on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here right before you hit the ground. Press B to open up your sailcloth. Just how brave you are, are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So ready to jump? Oh, crud. Alright, I think... Ha! I'm brave. I showed her. That was perfect. You're amazing, Matt. You know, Matt, seeing as how you won today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to you know, go fly around the clouds together? Ah, uh, how sweet. Even though she's about to get taken in by a tornado. Yup, I spoiled it! I still have the training sword. Matt! Hey, Matt! AB29. Today was amazing, watching you win in the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. You know, Matt. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. And I knew it. I'm the best. What is that? It's a tornado. Well. Fly away from it, Luffley. What's going on? No, Zelda. Oh, no. And I died. <coughs> And that's when I die. Oh, it's over. I'm dead. It happened again. Matt. Fee. <clears throat> I'm waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You're vital to a mission of great importance. Matt. And I died. Oh, uh, she died. We both died. Ah, 
You're awake. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries for that much. We can be grateful. But Matt, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? So basically I was flying around the clouds and this big tornado came and I'm like, oh, time to be a hero. Groose, take that. I'm gonna be a hero more than you. Ha ha ha. A black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Well, she talked about a nightmare. I think. I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Oh man, you know what? You're not gonna tell me what to do. Jeez, your eyes! Rest now, Matt. Zelda's gonna be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Uh-oh. Here we go. There's something out here. Uh-oh. Who's that? Hey, get back here, jerk. Hey, get back here. I'm gonna get you. Ah, uh, you went through the door. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Come on. Give me it, Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no! It's gonna kill me! Bye. Ha. Ah. Stupid. If I hurry up, I'll make it. If I hurry up, I'll make it. Oh. That was close. Bye. What are you... Go away! Go away! Ah! There we go. I hope I don't fall. Otherwise, I'd have to do this again. There we go. I made it! What was the point in that? What, are the gates closed or something? What? Uh oh. Did 
the audio is not synced. I mean, my microphone. I won't worry about it now. Wow. Hello. Who are you? The one chosen by my creator. I've been waiting for you. You will play in our, a great role in our great... Okay. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. V is the name I was given. I was created for a single person, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, that AB29, you must take up this sword, as the one chosen up by my creator is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is, an only, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be a part of this great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet my with therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it to skyward. Wait. What if I just left? I could just leave! What happens? Oh, I guess I'll go back in. There's no one outside, so I think I'm safe. <laughs> this is, uh, that's, I like that. That's interesting. With the Wii Motion Plus, I like that. You got the Goddess Sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, Master. Matt, my master. Matt AB29. I've had my suspicions, uh, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few of each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started, it started days ago, the sword that I have kept secret all these years. Began to give, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One is also youth youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Immeasurable. 
Ah, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero. It is he who, who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burned burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. The land. The surface. Some of father's old texts talk about a place called the- Some of father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than sky- This is all reading! <laughs> Master, you must embark on a great journey from beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before my creator, the goddess. It's also the only method available for you to reunite with the Zelda. This is no easy task, Maddie B29. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must per pierce, pierce the. G oh my gosh! You must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it, and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet! Master, the first thing you must do is, is hit the crest sitting in the room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you've, rechar once you've charged your blade, Face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful strike. Okay. Oops, I missed. Oops, I missed. Okay, so now, um, I think it'll move on to the next day, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end off the video here, after this part, I'm gonna end off the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, and this, this file is gonna be like, a gigabyte and a half, so, but anyway, um, before we end the video here, um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and if you're enjoying this series, please leave a comment below and a like. Also, it's much it'll be very helpful to see if you like the series. Anyway, also comment on what I can do better, such as commentary. Com that commentary wise, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, hold on. Yeah, that's about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, I'm not done. I have to finish this. <laughs> I, I gotta finish this, so I gotta get to a save point first. So let me know uh, what I what I can do better. So I can do that, because no one seems to do that, but then goes on to say how my channel sucks. I mean, seriously, why? <laughs> this is the worst. Zelda's alive, yeah, I know. Goodbye. So, um, I didn't really get to say anything really that original here, did I? Um. What we've, what we've seen here today defies explanation, but it's only the start. Gotcha! You do your people proud, Matt AB29. So I guess that's it then. Dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it?
You have a great journey before you. Matt, AB29, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. Got it! Yes, save and quit. Oh, come on. Anyway, thank you so much for walking. Well, uh, walking? Yeah, thank you for walking. Thanks for watching, everyone. And like I said before, please leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video. And let me know what I can do better in the future. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.